Hey everybody, it's Professor Parrish, and it is already week six, which is kind of crazy, right? We're a third of the way done with the class. So we're getting closer to midterms. Um, our very first paper is going to be due by the end of this week. So I'm recording this video Sunday, so just to touch base on the assignments that are due at the end of week five, um, if you have not submitted, um, here's one big thing too, right before I get started. Um, I've told a couple students, when you get onto the assignments page, as I've done right here, you'll notice that it says this do next box. This box can be a little bit deceiving because it only shows you two assignments, which granted, both of these assignments, the grammar review and textbook activity, they're due for week five. But if I scroll down to week five, um, you'll also notice the discussion forum is listed here, whereas it's not listed up in that box. So when you get onto assignments, make sure that you scroll down to week five and it has the dates listed for when week five is. It's, you know, till the this date on Sunday till the next Sunday. Um, just make sure that you're checking the assignments. Our discussion forum for week five, you'll note in, you need to have your paper draft in the discussion forum by tonight along with two reviews of two of your fellow students papers. Um, if you did not get the draft submitted by Friday, you can still submit it this weekend. Um, I am going to take a few points off for it being late, but you can still submit it and I would rather you still submit it because that way I at least get to look at your paper and give you feedback as opposed to you not getting any feedback at all. Um, because if you don't submit to this discussion forum, I'm not going to look at your paper before the final due date. That's just part of the assignment. So I've had students in the past that will email me like Wednesday of this coming week five or week six rather. And they'll say, oh, hey, can you look at my paper? And I'll say, well, you should have submitted it to the discussion forum because that was the assignment. So um, if you don't submit it to this discussion forum, I'm not going to look at it before it's due. That's just not how the assignment works. Um, this is not the only class I teach, <laughs> so I, I already have other work that I'm doing and the assignment is put in place there for me to give you feedback. And if you don't do that assignment, then I'm not going to offer it to you. But um, we are going to talk about your final draft of the cause and effect paper. So week six is right here. It's this Sunday or starting Monday until next Sunday. Um, the only thing due by Friday night is going to be your week six discussion forum post and I'm going to pull it up right here to kind of show you all what that looks like. So the week six discussion forum is just a video to watch and then um, there are four parts of a literary analysis. That's what the video talks about. Um, it's going to talk about what you should be expected when you write the introduction, why is that, and then what can you learn from this video and how would you apply it to your cause and effect paper or future papers. You can talk about that too. But anyway, the initial post answering these questions is due by Friday and the two responses to your fellow classmates are due by Sunday. Pretty straightforward, like what we've been doing in the past. Um, the only reading assignment this week is to read chapter 18 which is talking a little bit more about literature in our English skills textbook. You'll notice it's a pretty short chapter and you can kind of um, skim through and see, pick out the terminology and um, any important data that you think you might need to know. Um, the other two assignments are due Sunday of this week, one being the grammar review, which I will pull this up and show you all. Uh, the grammar review for um, number three, the third grammar review we are doing, is yeah. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so the third grammar review is basically going over uh, pages 443 to 445 in our English skills textbook. Um, number one through five, you're writing a second sentence behind the first one, and the second sentence starts with the word in blue that ends on the first sentence. So you will need your textbook for this assignment. Um, if you have the ninth edition of English Skills instead of the 10th edition, um, you're free to email me or come by my office in the afternoon this week and kind of let me see and I'll figure out which pages kind of correspond instead. But the second part of the activity one through five, you just write the most logical uh, conjunction, <laughs> you know, Schoolhouse Rock conjunction, conjunction. Is it going to be and, but, or, or that connects the sentences the best and that is the most logical choice for the connecting word there. 
And then finally, the last five questions are just asking um, to complete the sentence using a comma and starting the second part. It's very similar to the, to the first activity here. So activity three and five are very similar, and then activity four is choosing the proper conjunction. So, so far everybody has done really well on the grammar assignments, which makes me feel really good. It makes me feel like you are getting prepared for English 121 grammar-wise, which is awesome. Um, one note that I've been seeing in the discussion forum, and it's, I'm getting English teacher nitpicky here, but um, a lot of you are not capitalizing I, <laughs> which is like a big pet peeve for me. Like an I'm, if you guys are using a little lowercase I, don't do that, <laughs> just capitalize it. I know it, it, it takes a second of your day to capitalize it, but it will save you. If you've been missing points on the discussion forum, it's probably because of little tiny grammar errors like that, that if you go back and proofread, they're gonna be easy to spot and fix. But again, you're going to get counted off on those in English 121 and 122, so we might as well try to work to correct those now. But, all right, so that is the grammar review number three. And then finally, the last assignment due this week is going to be your cause and effect actual paper. So the Dropbox is very much like the Dropbox for your grammar review and your textbook activities. Um, you just upload the file the exact same way you've been doing the other assignments. Um, this is worth 50 points, so it's, this assignment's worth more than any other assignment we've done so far. So here's the thing about our papers in this class. Every paper will get some form of peer review. So we're going to do this discussion peer review forum like we've done in week five with every paper that we do in this class. So you're going to get some feedback, which is great. Um, I, my whole point as an English instructor is that when you write a paper, you should be able to go back and review it, revise it, resubmit it. So what I will do is that as long as you turn in a draft by this coming Sunday for week six, you are gonna get a chance to revise that paper. So I know a lot of students get really anxious about turning in their first paper because they're like, oh, it's not perfect. It's not exactly the way I want it. I'm running out of time. What do I do? Turn something in is my biggest piece of advice. By Friday, or by Sunday rather, sorry, by Sunday at 11.55 p.m., turn your draft in. Whether it's finished or not, turn it in. Because I will review it give you feedback and a grade, and you will get a chance to revise it. And in week seven, next week's video, I'm gonna talk about how to do that. So don't worry. <laughs> now, the catch is, it's kind of an all or nothing thing, because if you turn in your paper by Sunday, you will not only get a chance to revise it to make a higher grade, but you'll also get my feedback, etc. If you don't submit anything in, you do not get a chance to revise. It's just a zero and it will stay a zero for the rest of class. So it's sort of an all or nothing thing. We either turn in the paper and you get credit and a chance to revise or you don't get anything. So that's just how this class works. So my main point here, and every semester it happens, so please be the first class to not have this happen. Every semester someone does not submit a paper and it really frustrates me because you have nothing to lose you're going to get a chance to revise it and make a higher grade. You're gonna get extra time to work on it if you're not fully done. So why wouldn't you? You know, why wouldn't you just turn in what you have and get a chance to go? Um, but every semester somebody just doesn't submit. And so it, it, it's frustrating as an instructor because I want you all to do good. I want you to get a chance to revise and work on your papers. So please, if you take anything away from this video, make sure to turn in your cause and effect paper even if it's not complete, even if it's not done, you will still get a chance to revise if you submit it by Sunday at 11.55, okay? Um, and like I said, the upload file is exactly the same as our other assignments. Now, please make sure that you label your papers accordingly. Um, label your paper final cause and effect or cause and effect done or something where you can remember because I also have students that submit the wrong files or submit files that are blank or that don't work and then it causes problems and try to submit early that way if we do have any files or mix-ups I can get in there and we can reopen the Dropbox and get things sorted out if you wait until Sunday at 11 o'clock to submit your paper and something bad happens unfortunately I'm probably asleep so you'll probably be out of luck if you wait that late to submit and there's an issue. So 
I know the deadline is there, and you're like, well, the deadline's 11.55, so I should have every chance to submit it, and that's very true. But you also have to be prepared for if something goes wrong, what will you do then? So just kind of keep that in the back of your head. Try not to wait till the last minute to submit these assignments, and then you should be fine. Okay. So I look forward to reading your work. Um, I've read a few drafts so far, and they've been really good. So I'm going to be working this weekend and into the early part of this week to make sure that everybody's draft gets feedback and that you guys get, have enough time between now and next Sunday to revise your papers and get ready to submit that final draft. So hopefully um, you all will get good grades based on uh, what revision work we've done so far. All right. As always, if you have questions, please just let me know. But I look forward to reading your papers and uh, talking to you all again soon. All right. Bye.